Oh my god. Uh, hello guys, welcome back to my video, and yes, I have a different shirt on for once. I know you guys have seen way too many videos of my sweet little tour shirt. But, saving it for tomorrow. The way I'm gonna make this sound like I'm meeting my boyfriend for the first time in person, but he's not my boyfriend, he's just my really good best friend, that's the boy. He is dating a girl. I know he's not straight, he's actually sexual, and I support him, obviously. I'm gay. Well, that's not the only reason, because I really support LGBT community. Yes. And I want to wear a shirt that screams Ariana Grande. And the only shirt I have, mine is my mentally dated Ariana Grande one. I haven't seen that since I got my Sweet Neural Thor shirt, so I don't even know where it is. It's this shirt. He doesn't even know I have it. He's probably seen me wear it. He probably thinks I've been to Sweet Neural Thor. But really, I didn't go. <laughs> because I would have posted so many photos about it. I would have still been talking about it to this day. And it would have been... March 20th is when I would have went, which is the second night. And the, 20, the 20th of this month... Six months since it happened? I don't know. Please comment down below if I am right about six months. It could be seven, you count in March, because I am counting September. But six with September, seven with March and September. Or it could be five, because I don't count March and September. I don't know. Comment down below. It's either five, six, or seven. But yes, I am wearing this shirt. And it is already peeling. It lasted me a long time. Lasted me longer than I thought because I don't, I, the reviews I heard about Ariana Grande Sweetener Tour merch, not Sweetener Tour, but like Sweetener merch off her website was not good and it lasted me longer than I expected it, but it's still holding its shape, but the bad thing is, is when I do this, you can see that it's peeling off, not peeling off because I can't feel it, but the paint is like, it's starting to wear off, like, but the back of the shirt is pretty good shape and in the back of the shirt it only has the first North American leg in it sadly because I think when these tour shirts were made the European tour dates are not enough yet but all that out of the way I just want to show you my process of how I draw pictures like these and those two these are two new ones. It's Break Up Your Girlfriend at Board and Thank You Next. I did do the full Thank You Next album. There's, I did, when when I did all my Taylor and Ariana ones, I did Seven Rings, In My Head, Fix Island, Ghosting. So I did makeup. So I did this all yesterday. So makeup and NASA are up there, right above my window. Break Up With Your Girlfriend and Board and Thank You Next, right next to me and Imagine Needy and Bad Idea are right here. I could only fit three right here because how big the papers are, but at least I fit. And these ones are stapled into my wall because I ran out of tape. Because I used tape on a lot of that. Did you see that wall's full? So. I've been listening to Graveyard by Halsey a lot. I started listening to it last night around this time. Fell in love with it. So I just want to show you, like, my process of, like, how I draw these pictures and why some of them are so quick and why some of them take me forever. I'm trying to see which one would take me a long time. You need to calm down. You, you can't see it from here that well. But the little one in the corner where it's, like, part of a rainbow, that one, my finger's right by. That one took me about, like, 10 to 15. 14-ish minutes to do because I had to do the full rainbow. I had to make sure the order of the rainbow is correct and all. And then I had to draw the protesters of anti-LGBTQ+. Sorry, I always get the plus. I don't know why, but I get plus. And then I have two supporters, which are Taylor and Katie. And you're probably wondering, why is Katie on a Taylor Swift drum? Well, that's because they reunited and need to calm down music for and a quick one would have to be Paper Rings by um, Taylor Swift on Lover because it's literally 
I had to drop rings in like the little square on top of it. That took me the quickest amount, but for the ones I did yesterday, break up with your I mean ones that's like one or two people. Most of them I think the one that took me the moment had to be um NASA because I drew the earth and I forgot Africa as a continent. So like I count the time from setting up the colors to like Making sure the colors are correct if it's if I need it in a certain order. And um It takes me a long process of so this video maybe in two parts, I don't know. But the day of recording it was it was um National by Visibility Day and I totally forgot to post a video yesterday because I know last year was when I was bisexual or whatever. And I posted, I did a live stream in honor of it. But this year I didn't post anything. And I'm really sorry. And I was supposed to sit with my friend who has a girlfriend. Who I'm meeting tomorrow for the first time. I was supposed to meet him yesterday during lunch. But I had something to do during lunch so I didn't get to see. Mm -hmm. And so... With me, you're probably wondering why in the world did I mention graveyard by healthy? Well, that's because I'm gonna draw graveyard right now. So I use Sharpies. This box is full of Sharpies. Name brand Sharpies, not off brand. And this video is not sponsored by Sharpie. Fun fact I have not had one sponsored yet. If you have been here from the get go of when I posted my first official video. You would know I have not had one sponsor and my feet are current my foot is currently showing up. So apparently I watched this new YouTuber who is also gay and they were taking this how gay are you? They are not gay in there but just both gay and they're best friends. And they said and one of the questions was how do you sit as you know one of the questions was do you sit with your legs crossed? I do all the time. Also, you have your stereotypical gaze walk past. Depends on what I'm doing. If I'm I'm a, if I'm exercising, I don't um, walk slow. I walk slow. I mean, I do walk slow. I don't walk fast. And as you can see, I'm currently sitting with. Oh my God. My legs crop. Okay. Okay. So usually with my song rolling things, I do go by the song title, like Graveyard. It may not be about an actual graveyard, which it's not. It's, my understanding is it's um, Ashley Berry and her palsy song, because it's that's the songs from Ashley to Halsey or something like that. But the album is. I don't know if Gary the song is, but it's a really good song. If you haven't checked out any Halsey music, I would totally recommend it. I only just became a fan with um without me. The song Without Me is when I became an official Halsey fan. Fan, not fan. That's she doesn't have a fandom yet. Like, I've heard her songs like Gasoline and Bad at Love and stuff like that on the radio, and I really love those songs. But I really just became a fan with this new era of music that's personal and everything. Like, lately I've been loving personal music. Like, I'm I'm a big fan of Ariana, you know. And I'm, and I'm a fan of Sweetener, it's just, it's... Not what I expected. It's supposed to be. It was supposed to be her most, her most personal album to date before thinking next. And what was it? Three songs that are personal. And that includes breathing. No tears off to cry and get well soon. Three out of fifteen. I'm sorry, Ariana, but that's unacceptable. You say it's your most personal album. You have three out of fifteen songs that are actual 
actually personal. Now, no, please, guys, don't go hate on Ariana or the Sweeter album. I can't. I can't say anything bad about it, minus the fact that it's pers it's a per oh, also, that the only thing I can't say is that it's not as personal as I expected. It's re it's a really good album, it's just, I don't like the fact that there's three personal songs out of 15, when she, when we all expect more, but, what can I say, it was Ariana, most of these songs were written before the Manchester attack, yeah, so, so once I get the color I want to use, which I'm using black, and I'm gonna be talking to you guys about stuff, so this will be like a quick update video, because I probably will be gone for a bit because I am back to school now. Also, if one day I post a video with a random dude in it and I don't title it, meet my new boyfriend, it's my new boyfriend. <laughs> Bye. This is that Aaron person um, that helped me come up with ideas for these drawings. Um, broke up with me like two weeks later, said, In my mind, you're the right one. You make me happy and stuff, but. In my gut, it just you weren't right for me. Then, that, then two, then a couple weeks pass after he breaks up with me officially, and I go, "Why did you break up with me?" He goes, "Oh, because I'm not ready for a relationship." And she's like, "You couldn't have told me that the first time you broke up, not the first time when you originally broke up with me. You had to wait like at least a month to tell me that, and you tell me that now." We may get back together, depending on his mood. Get he's ready for a relationship. Get like to them whenever he wants to return to me. Oh, and lately, I've been uh, obsessed with dance moves. Like, I don't know why, I've just been. Every time I've come home for the past two days now, I've been watching clips of Dance Moms. Like, I don't know what it is about Dance Moms, but... The mothers in the Dance Moms things are hysterical. Like, I love them and I hate them at the same time. I love them because they're clapbacks and Abby wants... If Abby yells at the child, the mom yells, Why are you yelling at my kid? It's like, your kid had to have done something wrong for Abby to yell at her at them. You're the idiot here, not your child. Don't blame it on your child. So, yeah, with Graveyard, I'm basically drawing the Graveyard right now. These are coffins. This is underground. This is above ground. Yeah, I would totally check out all these music from Badlands to Graveyard. Unreleased, please, I don't like uh, Halsey and BTS's song. Don't, if you like BTS, listen to it, but if you're not a fan of BTS, don't listen to it. But, so, this is the end product of Graveyard. Now, I want to, um, add someone mainly Halsey or now actually digging someone up 
Oh, but guys, don't worry. She still goes by the name Ponce. That's her state's name. But. Right now, it's Ashley. There we go. There's someone digging up. So this is where Halsey is buried. And Ashley is trying to keep Halsey down. And this has been the process of me drawing it. I just come up with a color. If I need more than one color, it takes me longer. So it's taken me about, I don't know how long. But so this is the final drawing. But also, a little late with Lily Singh. It's amazing. Like, go check it out. Like, go subscribe to her. Literally. Literally. Yeah, please go see. And also, so, little update on Fifth Harmony. I am a fan of Fifth Harmony. I'm a fan of Remind me. Remind me some motivation is, like, I love it. Like, but I've heard from other Fifth Harmony fans that Camila and Camila Cabello fans have called Nermani the N-word and have attacked Nermani for being alive. Now, I loved Camila's new song, Shameless and Liar. I was gonna buy romance to support Camila. But after hearing that, I don't want to. But knowing me, I'll go back on my word like whenever it comes out and pay it. But seriously, Camila, if you see this, that's un unacceptable and I'm no longer a Camila fan. But if I'm in the mood, I will buy your album. Or if I have no other music to listen to, I listen to Garbage, which is you right now. And you're in the pile of garbage with Miley Cyrus. Katy Perry's small talk. Ariana Grande's blazed. I could go on forever, Camila fans. And if you're a Camila Cabello fan, please unsubscribe to me. And also, if you're an Ariana Grande hater, unsubscribe. If you're an Ariana Grande fan, click the subscribe button now. But also, so, my YouTube channel, it's Ariana Grande Lover. So, when I first made it back in 2016, I didn't make my channel back in 2016. Wait, I think I did, I don't know. But when I changed my name to Ariana Grande Lover in 2016, um... It just meant it's me being an Ariana Grande lover. But now with me being a Swifty and Taylor's album being out and me being an Ariana Grande. I'm basically updated my channel name, but it's staying the same. But the meaning behind it is now Ariana Grande and Lover. The Lover album represented Taylor. And Ariana Grande also rep represented Ariana Grande. But that's all I have for you guys today. If you want to see me do more drums and songs, comment down below the song and the artist so I know if there's multiple of the song name, what artist to listen to. But, and don't request any Gabby Hanna or songs because I've done all the songs. And don't comment any of the voicemails from Toy Mary because I ain't doing them. I only do an official songs. Like, don't comment anything from the Lover album. Because I've done the full Lover album. Only comments on because I'm not doing full albums. It took me basically all day to do Lover album from the time I got home to like bedtime. I had to do the Ariana Grande ones next day. And it took me all day from when I got home to... 
I, um, bedtime, so I had to hang them up the next day, make a video the next day. And also, my ex-boyfriend, Aaron, is also an art major, so he helped me pick the Ariana songs, and I told him, hey, I'm doing the Thank You Next album. Don't be warned. So be warned if that look terrible. But I haven't found them before. So that's what he gets. And I hope he doesn't watch this video. But Aaron, if you watch this video, I mean, nothing bad to come to you. Like, I wish nothing bad to come to you. Like, you thought you, I mean, you have to actually make it. Seriously. If we were to be in the same state, we probably would have met up. We probably would have still been together. It's just, I was so pretty confused, like, I'm not mad at me seeing it, I'm not mad at all. You know, I still love you as a friend. And if, and if you need ever someone to come talk to me, talk, if you need someone to talk to, and none of your friends are answering me, answering you, you can, you may, you can talk to me. But Aaron, I really wish we were still together. I understand where you're at right now. It's like your head's not in the right place to be in a relationship and stuff like that. But seriously, it seems like since we broke up, we don't talk much anymore. We still do Snapchat streaks, but we don't talk about it anymore. Actually, you know what? In my next video, you'll see me do a drown of We don't talk anymore. I have to listen to my songs I haven't heard it in years. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Good. Bye.